the best photographers are able to capture the essence of a nation, or a season, or a person in a single frame. The picture is worth a thousand words analogy came to life with the aptly named Life Magazine. And so borrowing from that strategy, we'll be telling a story with images, some that actually talk to you, and some that are just static pictures. This will be our story of Metropolitan's business plan, highlighting the major achievements for the last six months of 2006. This year's business plan focused on four key areas. The first, partnerships and working relationships. The second, water supply and system reliability. The third, workforce and asset management. And the fourth, financial management. In this report, you'll see only a snapshot of what has been accomplished this year. And since you will be able to access a complete copy from our website, we'll go light on the narrative and focus on the images that bring some of these projects and the people behind them to life. This program is more than just percentages and numbers and about databases. It's about real people. It's about Robert Morrow of Morrow Construction. Robert is a business owner. He's a disabled vet. There's over 50 employees, and he actively recruits disabled vets to work for his company. Robert is truly a success story because of Metropolitan's commitment to small businesses and disabled veteran businesses in the state of California. Currently, we're doing a project at your Gene Camp Pump Station located in Parker, Arizona, which involves placement of approximately 12 miles of fiber optic cable. And I feel, I strongly feel that Metropolitan Water District has stepped up to the plate and helping veterans, which currently I have a son now serving in Iraq, and I've told him that how much of a big supporter Metropolitan Water District is in supporting him as well as his other comrades. Looking forward over the next six months, we're going to be engaging with our board of directors on a difficult subject. We're going to be talking about whether or not Metropolitan is truly sustainable for the next 25 years. Do we have an environmentally sustainable water supply? How do we ensure that our financial resources are sustainable so that we can continue to do our mission? And finally, is Metropolitan's workforce, the next generation of workers, are they sustainable? Are they trained and ready for the future? I'm looking forward to working with you on all these issues.